Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddie Family Farm. Well, you see who gets to stay home again. Layton woke up with another migraine this morning. Um, he did go to the doctor yesterday and he has a sinus infection just like I do. Just like um, both of us went to the doctor actually to get some medicine because that's what we both have this cold stuff going on. But it is a sinus infection. And um, they said he could go back to school today as long as he feels up to it. But he woke up with a migraine, so I said he could stay home. Also, Braley woke up in the middle of the night around 12.30 last night with um, a high, high fever. So I took her to the doctor first thing this morning. And she also has a sinus infection. She's got so much drainage that that's what's causing the high fever. So, um, they both actually got to stay home. She's inside watching cartoons and stuff. But I needed to get some water trough done. And then I'm also going to be getting these uh, cords and just at least taking them across the road. Um, I was going to do that the other day, but then we got busy doing something else. I'm sorry about the noises in the background. Usually we have our mics on, but... I forgot to put it on the charger, and then Brandon actually left this morning. He's got to go get some stuff for a project that we've been working on for the last couple days, and um, he's got the other mic in the truck, in the car. But um, anyways, we're going to start with this. That's why I kind of let these water troughs get a little bit low, is because I want them to be where I can actually lift them to dump them out. And Leighton said he wanted to come out and help. And I, I really encouraged him to get outside also because when, when you're feeling sick and stuff, it's really good to get outside and get to walk in and move it and stuff. Just like if you have surgery. Brandon was outside this whole week walking and stuff. So we're going to start with this one over here. I'm going to try to get in here without um, anybody getting out. All uh, right. Stay there, sis. Thanks, Charlie. No, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hey, uh. Ew. All right, you can stay out because I'm gonna have you actually get the you actually get the water hose. Let me here. I just locked that bottom one. All right, so we're gonna actually um, get over here and yeah, see there's still just a little bit of water. Go ahead and we will, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unplug these. And then we will take this back over there. But I'm going to do that other water stock too, so I'm just going to kind of leave this right here and grab it on a way. Alright. Alright, Carly, I'm going to dump it out. I'm going to dump it out, sis. Alright, you got those brushes. Can I see it? There, a possum's dead on the road at the up there at the road at the main road mm -hmm. and i just seen a bunch of buzzards leaving it uh, all right i should have dumped all that out i might need a little bit of water i wouldn't come over here yet you're gonna have to turn that water on <laughs> I probably won't make y'all watch all of this cleaning out. Is that, is that a bird or is it an airplane? I know, it's, it's a big buzzard. Airplane? Red airplane. Oh, I thought you were talking about the bird flying right there. No, I'm talking about the red airplane. <laughs> Alright, 
Alright, yeah, I'm gonna need a little bit of water, please. I got all these shadows coming up behind me. No, that's not enough. <laughs> good try, good try. Probably should have put my boots on for this, but... Alright, that's enough. Ooh. Huh? Yeah, if you want to, but just remember, whenever it's time to fill it back up, you'll have to get it up to get out. We'll give it a good rinse real fast and then water it up. Huh? What? Oh, just make it quick. I want to hurry. My video has to be ready to go. Okay. I guess that was an airplane, not a bird. Someone peeking at us. That's like a, that, that's like a one person. I've seen, I've seen it turn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That's a little airplane. Then we will, I got sprayed in the face. Set that in there, let it fill up, and then move on to the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and walk over here and get out of here. Hi. By the time I make it over here, it'll be time to turn it off. It's fine, leave it shut. Yeah. Hi, Princess Layla. Hi, sister. How are you doing? Look, Acorn wants us to come over there. Hi, hey, sister. Yeah, Acorn's the male donkey. Oh, Acorn. Hi. All right. All right, we'll get out of here. All right, so donkey's got them some clean water. Layton's going to stay up there until it's time to shut it off. I'm going to go ahead and grab these brushes and walk down to this next one. Y'all ready for some clean water down here? Huh? Y'all ready for some clean water? This one, I'm surprised. Actually, it doesn't have any water, so it must have busted. Because if y'all remember in some of my videos, um, this actually was completely frozen the whole time. I just left it there. I didn't think it would bust though. Y'all ready? Huh? Y'all ready? Y'all liking this nice warm weather? I know. Y'all still have a little bit. 
We're gonna dump them out and clean them up. All right, I think I come in through here. Just sit it in there and I'm gonna try not to actually dump all the water out this time. Please. All right. Um, we're gonna do both this one doesn't look too bad this is what we've been feeding them out of when it actually stays there this one doesn't look too horrible I'll go ahead and give it a good rinse though all right I'll let you know first off I just like the other one go ahead and unplug this and set this one out here and then get this out and then i'm going to just use this brush what is it mama This one. And then let's see, where do I want to pour it? I guess just right here. Same for this one over here. I'm going to dump it. Maybe. Oh, man. That's a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. All right, so we're gonna still go ahead and fill both of them up. The only reason we filled two of them up was because one of them froze and then so we decided to get the other one and put the heat warmer in it. So I'm still gonna go ahead and fill both of them up because the donkeys can reach the um, tall one and the goats can reach it too. Um, they just, once it gets low, they can't reach in it anymore. So I'm gonna do that. And then I won't make y'all wait and watch water fill up. So I will be right back. Okay, so I just moved it to the bigger water trough and I'm gonna go say hi to these guys and just hang out with them for a little bit. Hi, Red Apple. Hi, sister. Huh? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah. That's a good girl. You got a good scratch, huh? Oh, you itch. Ooh, look at all that. You been rolling in the dirt. I know that's y'all's favorite thing ever. What are you sniffing me for? That feels so good, huh? You want to scratch? Huh? You want to scratch? 
Oh, that feels good. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that is so good. Look at you. You look like you got dandruff or something. Hi, sis. Hi. Can you come here? It's okay if you don't want to. It's okay. Hi. All right, so Miss over here, I don't remember names, but her bag doesn't look like super, super. It, it does, but it doesn't. Hers looks like she, is she the one that had kids? I thought she was the one that was pregnant, but her teats look like she's already had kids recently. I don't think that will fall on them. Usually I tip these over, but since it's only eight from one side, there's no point in really tipping it over. I don't even think I probably could. Where y'all going? So y'all can see our very, very, very dry pond over here. I'm so surprised because we have been getting a lot of rain recently that none of it actually held. Usually we get at least a, maybe, I don't know, maybe like a swimming pool type area, but not even that, nothing at all. I see you coming up behind me. Hi, Acorn. Hi, you want some more scratching? How are you doing today? It's like two peas in a pod when it's you two. You're always together. Good boy. That's a good girl. Beautiful cupcake. All right, I won't force you. So I'll go ahead and get out here. That sun's starting to come out now, or more than it was. Um, see how full this actually gets. Oh yeah, by the time I actually get out, it, it'll be, it'll be pretty good. That's like swimming water right there. Not how cold it is, but. All right. Mm. All right, Layton, you can go ahead and turn it off. Look how pretty that water is. All right, come down and pull the hose for me, please. I'm going to um, grab these heaters first, and then I will come back and grab the extension cords. I think this bucket busted from the ice. Yeah, because there's no water in it at all. And all that ice should have melted and it should be full of water. But it's not. So, so I grabbed, grabbed both of these. And now I'm going to take them up here. And then I'm going to come back and grab these extension cords. Right, guys. So I'm actually going to walk out here to the puppies. Um, this is having to be kind of a, um, a different day type video. I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update on the puppies and um dixie and but we'll get over here and get over to the puppies before i start all right so we got in here with the puppies and i just fed them just a little while ago that's why they look so messy what are y'all doing i bet y'all can't wait for your mama to get back Huh? I know it. Oh, are you giving me a hug? <laughs> You're so sweet. All right, all right, let me have my leg back. So, um, we did do a live last night just because we felt we needed to let you guys know that we were able to actually save Dixie by 
amputating her leg. Um, we did find the vet that was able to do that. And Are y'all waiting patiently for me to pet you? But um, that's the update. Dixie is doing really good. Um, we should be getting her. She should be able to come home today. The surgery went good. It went a little bit more extensive um, with everything like this actual surgery. But the vet sees that there's not going to be any problem with um her healing or anything like that so we will actually set up a one of the dog pens that we're turning in chicken pens um we're gonna set one of those up for her and she'll be able to um heal in there brandon's thought about actually bringing it closer bringing one of the pens closer up here to the house but then we did also have some other people said, yeah, but if she's closer to the house, that means she's going to be closer to the babies. The puppies are going to see her and they're going to start barking and get her real anxious. And so we're, we'll probably end up leaving her where she is, but we can, I mean, I can see it from where I am now, but it's kind of over the hill. But, um, but yeah, we are so excited that we get to get her back today. It was, the last couple days have been a true roller coaster of emotions. Um, dogs, dogs have always, I mean, I love animals, but dogs have always been right here in my heart. And it just, anytime one of my pet has passed away, any, pets have passed away it's always for me it's always harder to deal with something like that and then obviously seeing the kids hurt and that's something I was trying to say on the live but it just wasn't coming out but the kids we never want to hurt the kids intentionally so we would have never actually told them that we were going to be putting Dixie down if we thought there was any other way. But by miracle, there was this other way um, when we took her to the vet. And I believe, I truly believe God intervened. And so I, I'm truly grateful for her. But anyways, I'm going to give y'all a glimpse of these cute little... They're not as cute, or maybe some people might say they're cuter because they're all messy and because they're puppies, kind of like babies. When the baby's got baby food all over their face, I think they're cuter than when they don't have it on their face. But here they are, and they're doing really, really good. Hi, guys and girls. So you can see a couple of them actually have collars on them. It's this one. And then, where did I see the other one? And then this one right here. They are the two that were actually sold and picked out their puppies. And then Brandon did tell me that instead of keeping one, we're going to go ahead since there hasn't been any deposits made or anything on the second, on any of the girls besides the two. Um, we're going to go ahead and keep both girls. So... All the girls are actually spoken for now. Um, all we have left are some of the boys, um, either three or four of them. I know for sure we have three boys left, but I think the one Brandon was going to talk, uh, he was going to talk to me about that other one. So they, they are precious. I mean, look at this little hairdo he's got going on. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. No, oh, so, so sweet. Yes, you are so sweet. All right. Yeah. What? What? Hi, Miracle. What are you going to do? You want to wake her up? You gonna wake her up and say, play with me. What are you doing? Huh? You wanna play? Huh? You wanna play? I don't think Miracle wants to play. She's relaxing. 
This little guy over here, he's like a little loner. Hi. I always, when I come out here, I always see one puppy by itself. And I'm pretty sure it's probably that same one because it's always laying down by itself, more calm and relaxed and kind of lazy-ish. So I think it's pretty funny seeing their personalities come out and stuff. But anyways, that is all I'm going to do for this video. I got to get inside. I got a couple more sickly kids. Kaysen came home from school yesterday. Um, not feeling well. So I already started his medicine just like the rest of us been on. And we will just go from there. If he gets too bad, I'll take him to the doctor and get him his own medicine. But I mean, we got all the medicine we got with everybody else being sick. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and keep continuing prayers for Dixie because she's got a long road ahead of her. So God bless.